Welcome to this tutorial on the use of the IEA's IDB Analyzer. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the IDB Analyzer to compute Pearson correlation coefficients. To follow along this tutorial, you will need the following. A computer running one of the latest versions of Microsoft Windows. This can be a PC or Apple machine running a Windows emulator. The latest version of the IDB Analyzer, which can be downloaded from the IEA website one of the latest versions of SPSS for Windows, and a dataset for your analysis. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use Perl's data from the 2011 assessment, and that was copied to your computer together with your copy of the IDB Analyzer. The IDB Analyzer is a standalone application that creates SPSS syntax to merge and conduct analysis with large-scale assessment data. For a complete list of compatible studies, please refer to the help manual of the IDB Analyzer. This tutorial will show you how to work with data from any of those studies. Remember that because of the nature of the data collection design, you will need to use sampling weights, use replication methods for estimating sampling variance, use plausible values when analyzing achievement data, estimate measurement variance, and combine the error terms for use in significance testing. Ignoring these design features leads to biased results. The technical documentation of each study has details of the specific procedures to be applied in each assessment. The analysis module of the IDB Analyzer is a tool that allows you to select variables relevant for your analysis, create code in SPSS that will be used for the analysis, conduct analysis taking into account the sample and assessment design, and produce results in different formats that can be readily used by other software. It works by reading a data file stored in your local computer. It then uses SPSS as a computation engine for the analysis. Please note that for more efficient processing, you should use your local machine to save all your results. Before we get started, take this opportunity to launch the IDB Analyzer. If you haven't downloaded the, a copy of the IDB Analyzer, please refer to the first tutorial of this series where you will receive instructions on how to download and install the IDB Analyzer. Also, please start your copy of SPSS. When conducting an analysis, you will first need to select the analysis type. The program will only allow you to select permissible analysis types based on the contents of your data file. In the second step, you will need to select statistic type. For this tutorial, we will be selecting correlations. This, has, this statistic type allows us to compute correlations for selected variables. You have the option to select data using listwise or pair, pairwise deletion. When you select to use pairwise deletion, you use all available data from each variable. When you select to use listwise deletion, you only use cases that have no missing data on any of the analysis variables. Please make sure you're aware of the consequences of your selection. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will show you how to conduct the following analysis. Correlations between the following variables, student likes reading, student motivated to read, student confident in reading, and then correlation between the variables above and plausible values, reading for information purpose and reading for liter literary purpose. To start our analysis, we'll select the analysis module of the IDB analyzer. Then we we'll look for the file that we want to use for analysis. In our case, it will be the merge Perl's data. For analysis type, we will select Perl's using student weights. For statistic type, we will select correlations. For our first example, we will not be using plus all values. For missing data option, we're going to select pairwise and we're going to leave this option unchanged, two decimals for our output. We're going to be doing correlations by country of the following variables. The variable names are A, S, B, G, S, and notice how they get filtered. And we want students like reading, students motivated to read, and students confident in their reading. The weight has been pre-selected by the program. And for output, we're going to be creating files called correlations. 
no p b start as pss and we get the syntax and there's two ways to run the syntax one is by pressing ctrl a followed by ctrl r or by selecting run all you can follow along the processing by looking at the right hand side uh, portion of your screen and we get the results and so let's take a look at what we have here in the first panel we get unweighted statistics for or variables in the analysis by the analysis groups this is followed by weighted statistics for the same set of variables then we get descriptive statistics for each variable within each country we'll get the number of cases the population estimate the average standard error of that average the standard deviation and the standard error of the standard deviation notice because that because we select that pairwise deletion of cases we're going to have different numbers of cases contributing from each variable and then we get the statistics of interest of this analysis which are the correlation between the uh, liking reading motivated to read and so on with the each one of the variables and you would have this column has the correlation coefficients here we have the standard errors of those correlation coefficients in addition if we look at the directory where the results were being saved you will see an excel file that has the correlations that were displayed in our report and here we have the uh, correlation with each one of those variables with the cor corresponding standard errors and we'll have also descriptive statistics for the variables used in the analysis In our second example, we're going to be computing correlations between these variables as well as some of the plus hole values. So we will have to select under plus hole value option, use PDs. Now for missing data option, just to show you the difference between pairwise and listwise, we're going to be selecting listwise. For our analysis variables, we're going to again be selecting a s b g s and notice how they get filtered so we're going to move them over to the right for our plus hole values we're going to be selecting reading for literary purpose and reading for informational purpose and our output file we're going to call correlations with TVs. We start SPSS and as we did before, we do run all. This analysis will take a little longer because it will be done once for each plus hole value. Okay, so now we have our results. Let's take a look at what we have here. We have, as before, we have the unweighted statistics. We have weighted statistics for the variables in the analysis. We have our processing log. Notice how we did use five plus all values with 150 replicates. We have now descriptive statistics. Notice that different from the previous analysis, now the number of cases is exactly the same for each variable because we have selected only cases that have complete sets of values for the analysis variables. And we'll have the number of cases, the mean, the standard deviation, and so on. And last, we'll have the table with the correlation coefficients by country between each one of our analysis variables and the rest of the variables in our analysis 
with the corresponding standard errors. As before, we have in the output directory, we have Excel files that contain the correlation coefficients that were just calculated together with the descriptive statistics. One thing to point out here, notice that even though we have told the program to display only two decimal points, decimal places, the numbers are calculated with full precision. This concludes our examples using the correlations analysis type. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. For more information on using the IDB Analyzer, please view our other online tutorials or refer to the help manual of the IDB Analyzer.